This is Rap the News. All praises to the Most High God and blessings on those who gave in charity and those who support the truth on any channel or platform. We are in the month of Abib. In the month of Abib that God told us to observe and to remember, we were taken out of captivity right into an exodus. And so God not changing Malachi 3 6 we will be taken out in the new year the second time if we're looking at Rosh Hashanah or the new year according to the Jewish calendar they are a month and a couple of days off if you're going according to the American calendar you will miss the boat completely if you're going according to the lunar calendar you know uh, it should be right around now from the ninth, 8th or 9th to the uh, end of the month. Somewhere around this time according to the wheat. Right? According to the barley. With that said, if we get past the new year and God don't take us out and put us back into our own fold. 2022 will be the most hellish year on this earth and I'm not taking that back mark my words it will be the worst year to be alive in history 2021 was already the worst year even just last month I lost four major accounts probably combined over about 30,000 subscribers completely just taken away because you told the truth sometimes you got to take a loss and not be scared to lose a lot of us are scared to lose I have nothing to lose because here's the thing if I'm doing the work of the most high God what should I be afraid of nothing so if we make it past August because if you listen to me last year I said I was watching for a exodus in August last year and the year before that and then uh, August uh, 2017 we know we had that strange eclipse where the shadow went backwards right which was not an eclipse with that said we had a comment from brother Deshaun and he writes Shabbat Shalom brother rap I just got off the phone with brother James Sinky he was half asleep when I called him. Brother James told me to tell you he loves and appreciates you very much, Israel. He fell on his way to the restroom the other day, but he's okay. And he's still having trouble with his phone. He sounds pretty weak and is not really eating, but two bites of a hamburger and two fries a day. But he's in good spirits. Much love, big brother. I'll keep you updated. Shalom. So... With that being said, I had a dream that James Sinky had died and um, Brother Chase, his nephew, was um, talking to everybody, trying to bring everybody together to bring them up to speed and up to date about what was going on with James and his funeral and everything else, right? So he was on the internet doing that. I don't know if that's going to happen in real life. But we need to keep Brother James in our prayers, as you can see. Um, with that said, we go into Australia. Australia is under martial law. And so this brother right here wraps himself all the way up. He is highly, highly upset and disgusted at what's going on in Australia. So the police is policing and he's his mass say police state. Right? And other people are reporting that the police didn't lost their damn minds and they out on the streets, right? I believe the police and the military. Not only that, but Australia is experiencing an apocalypse uh from the rats to I mean, they they getting it all because of what they did to them people on the land. So watch this. Raining 
down hailstone beside the tennis ball. A day after the sandstorm, heavy hail the size of a golf ball hit southeast Australia. So, they they going through it, right? Hellified going through it. But we got meteorites falling every damn where. So this is Turkey. You know, this is Alpha Capra, whatever the hell that says. Uh, they're all over the place. These meteorites is falling. They're not putting the locations of a lot of them. Um, meteor seen across several states. Right. This meteor was over Michigan, and all this is recent, folks. Meteorite in Norway, right? Another Texas. Uh, meteorite fell in the Republic of Saka, right? So meteorites are falling every damn where. Why? Because we are in the debris, debris tail, debris, debris, debris. That's all, folks. The debris tail of planet hell, and so there's going to be bad air quality every damn where, all over the world, right? And they're teaching you how to make uh, pretty much uh, dust traps to blow in your house to uh, air purify your house, right? By using a fan and a vent that you probably can just buy at Lowe's or Home Depot or some kind of hardware store, right? And so, again, if we make it past August to the, you know, to make it past this new year, 2022, mark my words, uh, post a video, keep it, so you can remind you, will be the worst year on this earth. You know? It's a possibility we can make it past because I've been looking for the exodus to happen for a couple of years. I said last year, the year before, and this year in the month of August. According to the lunar calendar, it kind of changes every year. It ain't on the same date, right? So according to the lunar calendar, it seems as though something is going to happen. They are preparing for something to happen even by September 1st as they said warning the Homeland Security is putting out a warning about Trump and the Trumpers right but no arrest though but they gonna tell you they gonna tear up the city right that don't make sense so anyway if we make it past August 2022 will be hell on earth this is wrap the news